Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just making another coffee. I am at it again, trying to do what I do best, and that's not cooking. <laughs> I was looking at my Pinterest last night, and yeah, I saw you know what you can grow from what you have already, and I thought, oh, I've got this whole bag of beans that I didn't get to eat in time, and they've gone yuck. So I've been cutting them open and getting all the little seeds out so we can plant them. We've got this zucchini out, it's going to get ditched as well. Um, yes, I've got a bag of leaves that, as you know, got to be quick to eat them. I've got capsicums here, but I've, I've got so many capsicum seeds, I really don't know to get any more of those out. And I'm going to try the old avocado thing where you stick some toothpicks in it and sit it in the water see if I can sprout one like that. Normally they sprout in my worm farm like I've said to you before but I'm not having any luck with that. I'm just going to take the whole tray. Just take the whole thing in there babe. Yeah, yeah we're just going to sit down at the table and do it because James can't lean over the bench. He gets us all back. So we're going to sit down here and do that. Okay so I'll put it in a wine glass to make it look a little bit more fancy. <laughs> well, that looks pretty cool. So I think I'll just pop it over this side. Mm, I should probably find something better to find it after. Place it after, rather. Because we're always plugging the toaster into that PowerPoint. I've just put my pumpkin seeds over here on the bench near the sun. And I... Cut open a zucchini and I've got some of the seeds out of it. I had another zucchini that we didn't get to eat, so I've got that up in the windowsill drying. And I just cut the ends off all the carrots that I have in the fridge, so I'm going to grow those as well. It's a perfect time for growing carrots for winter and soups and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And we've got our little bean things here, but we didn't do all of them because we were looking on YouTube and some of them. Um, that have YouTube channels were just saying that it's better off just drying them out in the full bean thing. So we just put them out in the back on the table, let them dry out. So yeah, I still reckon this will work, but we'll see what works best. A big mozzie flying around. Bastard. Oh, caught him too. Oh, gross. Just made some yummy breakfast. Just done some avocado toast with some nutritional yeast and hemp seeds and then just some salt on top and i've got the aioli out to have on top which would be delicious okay my husband's just made a box for the chook pan so what we're going to do is we're going to fill it up um with sand or soil it out of the chook pan and then no don't don't the wire is coming up leave it alone please and we're going to put wheat in there so it's going to grow and then they can only pick what comes out the top so they'll all have, always have something to eat so that's going to be cool. Are you going to do the other one too, the little one? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. We need to get a bag of, um, oh, not now, I don't think it's time for growing them, sunflowers. Um, get some chook food with sunflowers, it's not chook food, bird food. It's got sunflowers in it, so we can oh, plant yeah. a few of them in the chalk pen as well. Yeah. So I'll love it. I just looked up what herbs you can grow in water. So I've just picked some sage, some basil, some oregano, and some mint. And I've just put it in my little spice jars. And that looks pretty cute up there. Okay, we're just packing away. The rest of things that, oops, that we did decorate with. Okay, so my to-do list for today is obviously top just water them again. I'll get might get Scott to do that. Um, I want to vacuum and mop my floors. Pretty feral at the moment. Um, my bedroom's still not being done. I started cleaning the kids' bathroom. I'm doing washing. Um, I need to do my meal plan. And I need to do a meat um, 
it's pretty much stock take really. <laughs> Just to see what I have for meals. I pretty much need to do that before I do my meal plan. See what we've got. And the kitchen definitely needs to be clean. It's feral. So adding Hudson, stop it. So look, this is my kitchen from here. Around. And we have dishes, 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 and lots more dishes. And look how cool my eggs look in this. I just said a scarlet, so be careful when you get the container out of the fridge because this lid's pretty much just sitting just sitting on top, which is a bit weird. Um, ideally, it would have been better if this was my... I would have done like a side one. So it's sort of more sealed, but how cool do they look in there? And I've only got six eggs because like I said I gave my mum some. So but they lay four a day, so that's pretty cool. Just put my little rice cooker on. I put a little bit of turmeric in there, I don't want it too yellow. Just a little bit of colour. And I'm just reheating some lunch. I had some teriyaki chicken and some quinoa. And I had this big container in the freezer as well so I'm just going to do that for the kids and I've got some leftover veggies from last night I've been picking up beans <laughs> so I'm just going to nuke those as well and that's some nice lunch for today keep opening and closing the house up because there's a there seems to be a fire down that end and it smokes my house out so it's a bit of a pain in the bum for me I need to get all these seeds done today too. And I've got a bloke coming at uh, four o'clock today to check out the damage from that storm that we had. So I was gonna obviously give him a quote to get it all fixed up for him. For my rice, I ended up doing a second batch and just did it white. And then I put some um, just some veggies as you can see, peas, corn, capsicum, and carrot in there. And it's cooked perfectly in the rice cooker. Normally, as you know, if fried rice, um, rice, poor fried rice rather, you should cook it the day before. It always, always gets you a better result. But this is cooked beautiful. And I've also got a few bacon rashes so I'm going to put in it as well. Going down the shop. Look at all the birds in the road. Watch this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Don't pull my car off. Mind you, my car's dirty anyway, so. This plant's loving it here. That I've got. It's starting to grow some new little shoots around the side. It's starting to grow some new little shoots around the front bit there. It's so pretty. It's such a beautiful purple, isn't it? Look at it. Isn't it just gorgeous? Any of my onions coming up yet? Doesn't look well cooked. Probably should put them back in the veggie garden where it gets a bit more sun. Okay guys, well, I'm doing my stir fry. I've got my big wok out that I got from Bali. I fried up some bacon. Chopped up, sliced up all my pork. And the roast that I had. I chopped up two purple onions because that's all I had. Uh, so spring onion out in my veggie garden. And I just uh, did like an omelette out of about, probably about six eggs actually, I reckon. And this isn't normally something you'd put in there, but pretty where they're coming. I'm going to put some garlic in there. And I've used some vegetable oil and I also used some sesame oil. They've got better smoke points. Olive oil, you don't want to use olive oil at all when you're doing stir fry. Although it just doesn't get hot like you need a stir fry too. I'm going to turn that pan back up and turn it down so I've got the stuff out. So we're going to turn this back up, get it cranking, and then we're going to start adding a little bit of that beautiful rice in that I cooked earlier. Okay, I was going to just add a bit of rice in at a time before putting that stuff up. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to pour a heap of soy sauce in there and I'm going to give it a real good stir. Okay, look at this. It is so beautiful. I just tried it off and I tried it, it's really good. It's just um, got to be heated up a little bit more because the rice was in the fridge. 
Mint is ready to go. <laughs> oh my god. Scarlet Sight. My wife's losing it. <laughs> Scarlet Sight. If someone was, if you had to go to a funeral, what would you wear? And I'm like, why are you worried about that? And she's like, oh, I'd wear, she's telling us what she'd wear. And I'm like, man, you've spent too much time in hibernation. <laughs> <laughs> How's this so funny? It's supposed to be isolation. It's yeah, it's isolation and it's quarantine. Not, <laughs> not <laughs> we're not bears. <laughs> this fried rice. This fried rice is absolutely beautiful. Fried what rice. do you think of the fried rice? Fried rice. Yeah. Damn, fried rice is crunchy. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing I like about it is like Wait, the bacon and the stuff. Bacon. No, I was having cauldron. Be quiet, please. The bacon <laughs> and the rice and the egg. But I do not like the peas and corn. You can't even taste them. I can. So okay. just scoop it up when you have a whole big mouthful of everything. And just it's not yeah. like you taste it. Just chew. Like, yeah. It's just oh oh He's got his new jammies on. He had a big bath. Show us your slippies. <whistles> Pretty you cool. Are they beautiful? You didn't even see your other jammies that I got. You don't even touch them. <laughs> There's more in there. You can have some more, but just leave some for your work for tomorrow. For my work. For lunch. lunch. For, for lunch. lunch. Yeah, not my work. No. You can eat that. You had bugger all. I didn't give you much at all, Scarlet. Eat your peas and corn, girly. I'm full. No, you're not. Just got my husband to come down with me to the petrol station thing there and show me how to do the fuel. I've got no idea how to do it. So now I know how to. It's a bit weird because you put your card in and you put how much you want and then you do your fuel and then... <laughs> so I put in... 80 bucks, so it's approved, and then I only spent like I think it was 46 47 bucks because the fuel's so cheap, it's like 99.9, .9, which is probably not cheap to where you are. I know it's like 79, I think, down in Perth, which is pretty exciting. Oh, it's been a big day. It's where women's work is never done. Made all the kids' bathroom today, scrubbed it with a shower, mopped all the floors, and then as soon as they're in here, it's all dirty again. Red dirt literally drives me nuts. Whenever I mop, I put the mop across the doorway like that, just so people don't break their neck. Like that vlog the other day when I was saying to you how Scarlet ran up the hallway and ended up on her back. <laughs> she actually winded herself and it was actually really horrible. But she'd already been going off at Lachlan saying to him, go on there and clean up the water because he'd had a shower and looked at the water like before. So, yeah, she's gone off at him and then she ran in there trying to get away from the dog and, yeah, went straight up, ass up, onto her back and winded herself. So, yeah, it was really horrible. Took her a little bit to get her breath back and that. But as you know, if you get winded. Um, but, yeah, I've got heaps done. It is 10 to 9. And I'm going to go and do my grocery shopping tomorrow. got my list going for my shopping. I actually need to get a pen and paper and do that. Um, but I did my fridges, kitchen got done, meal plans not done. I vacuumed. I've done my washing. I haven't hung it out. And I didn't get to mop. But so, yeah, not too bad. So, cleaned out. My microwave, that's all nice. It wasn't too bad. It's just pretty mucky up the top as usual when food gets splattered all, all over it, but I keep my microwave pretty clean. I hate dirty microwaves, it's just gross. Oh, and I wiped down those cupboards again. I was wiped down those and I was wiped down around this bit and just the sort of inside cupboard, cupboard bit. Wiped down my cupboard again. Pantry, just around the door, wiped all that. 
and cleaned all my fridge and freezer out. I wiped all this one. This had all um, broken Easter egg all sitting all along here from Hudson. So I cleaned all that and I cleaned all the stuff out of here and I wiped down all the shelves and all in there as well. So that looks all beautiful. I cleaned out this one here. This one's pretty well full of just my condiments and that, so it um, doesn't look much different. But just cleaned out the drawers, made them all clean. That one's empty, ready to fill up. So that's cool. And I moved that bottom shelf up to there. I just think, why don't we reach down all the way to the bottom when we don't need to? It's just stupid. Okay, it's 9.30. And I just got some little zip tie. I was, I was called zip tie, zip lock bags out. And I'm just going to bag up my seeds that I dried out. I don't know whether these beans are gonna grow or not. They do look really, really dry. It's be hard to see. Them. But I know we'll see. Like I said, if they don't draw, if they don't work, then we've got the ones that are out the back on the table that are drying out in the actual beans. Um, but I thought I'll have a quick yarn with you while I do this. Um, the bloke rocked up today for the to check all the roof out and get an idea how much he's going to quote them to do um, just to fix up everything. From the storm damage and he was loving my garden out the front um yeah he him and his wife actually came and did a lot of work on the house before we moved in and he was saying oh my wife wants something there's something in your garden at the front that she wants a cutting of and i'm like what is it and he's looking around he's looking around my whole garden and he finally found it and i said you can take a cutting i said but i don't know if that's gonna grow from a cutting or not and he's like, no, no, he's like, it's all right. He's like, I'll send her over. And I'm a bit like, <laughs> you know me how much I love people. Um, but yeah, oops. Um, but anyway, she ended up coming over, like, literally not even half an hour later, I reckon. I was out the back plodding around and I just came in the back door and then... She was at the front door, she rode her bike over. She only lives across like the spare block I've showed just straight across the road from us. Lives on the other side there. Um, and she's absolutely lovely. Her name's Siri, exactly like, Siri, set my timer for 20 minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, and she just, she loved my garden. She's just like, oh, you take your gar gardening, you know, really seriously? I said, yeah, I, said, I love my garden. So cooking and my garden, they're my main two things that I love. Apart from my family. <laughs> um, my hobbies, you know. And she said, oh, I've got some um, lemongrass. I've got some lemongrass. She's actually um, from Thailand. I think she's from Thailand. Um... Yeah, but she's just beautiful. It was actually really hard for me trying not to talk like I was in Bali and talking to the Balinese people. Um, but yeah, she's, she's really nice. I said to her, I said, yeah, grab what you want. I said, come out the back and I'll show you out the back. Show my veggie garden. And she loved my veggie garden. She's like, oh, you really do take it seriously. She goes, this is how I want my garden. She loved how we've got it all sort of fenced off. I said, well, I've got to have it like that otherwise. Uh, my crackers and my chooks will eat all of it. So, um, yeah, then I went and showed her the ducks and, yeah, she loved them. And they've actually got, you know how, uh, if you follow my channel all the time, a few vlogs back, we found that kitten. They've actually got the kitten. And it was so funny, which is it when I first went out the front and she's out there. She's like, look. <laughs> she points behind her, look over the block, and there's all her three cats that followed her over. She's like, oh, I didn't want them to follow me. She's like, they just followed me. I said, no, nah, it's all right. She goes, oh, I don't want to come in here. And then she was saying to me, oh, I heard that your kids cried for, um, your your kids were crying. And we took the kitten and 
Yeah, she's like, oh, I can't believe you know you fed the kitten for a week and. I said, we didn't feed it for a week, so we had it for one night. I said, no, I only gave it to that bloke over there because he's like the top sort of dude in the Shire and he knows, you know, someone's missing a kitten then he'll obviously know where it's come from. Oops. Yeah, so, but yeah, she's got that cat and she's got the brother to that one as well. So that's pretty cool. Look at my seeds, and I was showing her because I had the kitchen blinds were up, so I was showing her up like, through the window. And she's like, "Oh, she's like, you do, you know, what do I do." But look, so cool. So I'm just gonna write. Uh, what's the date? Fifteenth today. So fifteenth of the fourth, twenty twenty, and they are uh, green beans. Please grow. And I don't know about the zucchini seeds, but I want to go to Bunnings tomorrow. So I'm going to get some seeds and that anyway. And mum was even saying that when they went up there um, to Geraldton, the Bunnings was all sold out of all the veggies and that that you can grow, all the seedlings and stuff. But I had read that on the page anyway, so that's no surprise. Zucchini. Seats. So yeah, my mum ended up at the hospital the other night and the hospital said to her, hurry up and get in and get out because we've got a corona case coming in. So that was a bit scary. Jack pumpkin. So I've already got jack pumpkin in my front garden that's actually growing really good. But you've got to keep the seeds when something's yummy, you know. My sister was saying that she ate a rock melon the other day and she was like, it was so good. I'm like, did you keep the seeds? She's like, yeah, I did. <laughs> so I was like, cool. Okay, so they're my jet pumpkin seeds. I've only got, I didn't keep too many of them. It's like, they're pretty good. You've got a pretty good success rate with pumpkin seeds, so that's okay. So, uh, we got 15th, 4th, 2020. Jack Pumpkin. Okay, and I got some butternut, so that'll be cool. I'm thinking when it's time to plant them again. I'm not really sure when it's time to plant them, but I was thinking I'd like to plant them like when my veg garden is just there and I've got the gate and the fence. I was thinking it'd be cool to plant something like that that way. So cool, because we've got so much land here where you know, I've always wanted to grow watermelon and stuff like that, but it just takes up so much room. So I've just never really done it. So that's pretty cool that we can actually get to do that here. And I'm going to plant some avocado trees in the chook pen in the second part of it. So, yeah, hopefully me seed will sprout. It's there and I've got a few more in the worm farm and that, so... Yeah, hopefully they'll sprout, but it just depends. It's so weird. Depends on the weather, I guess. They will sprout when you don't need them, but they don't when you want them. Same as anything, I guess. Oh, that's cool. I've got heaps of butternut seeds. It's so good. Pumpkin's so good. I still haven't ordered my incubator yet. There's so many to choose from, and I don't want to get a cheap, cheap one, and I don't want to to spend like a heap of one either but a bloke that James works with his brother-in-law's got one and he reckons spend about 500 bucks on one but yeah I don't know about that but I said to James it'll be a good investment because we've got the ducks and the chooks and whatever we breed and that we can always sell some extra ones off and we won't have any problems selling any of them up, up in the, the bush here I love. What you doing? I'm nearly done. Counting seeds? No, I'm not counting. I'm just trying to like dry the seeds off. Just pull the seeds off the pumpkin bits that are still a bit damp. These ones aren't really ready to bag up yet. I'll leave them here for another day, I reckon, and they'll be good then. Mm. But look at them all. So it's cool. We'll have jack pumpkin and butternut. I was just saying. 
Yeah. I like to plant them. Be good to plant them like out the gate there. We've got that extra area where we'll be. It'd be good to plant them over there, over there. Yeah, that's a set. Yeah, that's a set. We've got heaps of rooms. We'll be able to plant them. You know, watermelons, pumpkins. We'll be able to plant them mm. anywhere we want. It's gonna be cool. Plant them that much, so we'll get sick of pumpkin. Well, not even pumpkin. Just watermelon, rock melon, honey oh, melon. I love pumpkin. Yeah, it's so good, eh? Mm -hmm. Especially that pumpkin salad. And that my friend Jenna used to make. Um, no, I don't remember it. You're gonna have to make it for me. <laughs> yeah, it's just having the rocket, uh, not the rocket, it's just having the baby spinach leaves to do it. Yeah, we got baby spinach leaves in there, don't No, not, that's not the same. Huh? It's not the same. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, babies and the spinach? No, it's not. But I'm gonna go to Bunnings tomorrow. I'm gonna get some seeds and stuff. No seedlings, so I might as well get some seeds. Hold on. James is saying I need to get stuff from Bunnings, and I'm like, what? Like, what? He's like, I don't know, whatever I need. But I need him to get me. He hasn't got the, the plug things for the wall for the microwave. I need it off the bench, it drives me nuts. I want it up over there on the wall. He heats better. Out of my way, give me, I mean, that's gonna be a lot of extra bench space without that there. So that's cool. And I love all my kitchen gadgets and I'd like to have my bread maker on the bench. There's a few few of my appliances that I'd just like to have on the bench all the time. Cool, look at where my fingers are now. <laughs> okay, so I've done all my stock take for my meat. I've got a kilo of turkey mince. I've got five kilos of beef mince. I've got four lamb shanks, six chicken drumsticks. I've got 14 of the marinated drumsticks. Uh, I've got a kilo of, I think they were South African sausages. I can't think where is it they were from now. Um, I've got 1.7 kilos of chicken pieces. I've got a kilo of beef sausages, three whole chooks. I've got two kilos of chicken thighs, two kilos of chicken breast, roast pork. I want to do a beautiful recipe with that too, so stay tuned. Um, I got three chicken burgers in a bag, frozen, eight beef burgers, and eight crumbed fish in a box. And for the meal plan, I redid my whole thing, and I did all the weather and that, so it shows what's, what it's going to be. And as you know, I like to base my menu around the weather, so obviously Sunday's going to be raining, so we're going to do a nice corn beef, so that'll be nice. I'm gonna do that in my um, Instapot thing too that we just got, the um, pressure cooker thing. Um, so what have we got? What day are we on today? Thursday. Okay, so we're gonna do beef burgers tonight. We're going to do butter chicken for Friday. Saturday we're gonna do um, marinated wings. That's not wings, that is um, the drumsticks. And that's the same to get the corned beef out for tomorrow to thaw out. Why do we need to take it out Friday actually? Because it's pretty big. Um, yep, corned beef, like I said, for Sunday. Monday we'll have leftovers. Tuesday we'll do the lamb shanks and mash. And Wednesday I want to do up a big batch of spag bog mints. Um, yeah, so that's my weekly, what my weekly meal plan looks like. I hope you enjoyed my vlog guys, if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next vlog which will be tomorrow when I go food shopping again.